Hola, Animigos, and welcome to Keyframers. I'm Stephen Shaw. And I'm David Korshid. Right now, we'll be giving a quick overview of some techniques we use to build this awesome animation. Our show is supported by our sponsors, uh, CodePin at CodePin.io, CSS Tricks at CSS-Tricks.com, and viewers like you. You can pledge at Patreon.com slash Keyframers. We've got some links available below for you. Yeah, and here you can watch the full process of creating this animation from scratch with a deeper dive into each technique, so please check out the live stream. And if you have any questions, leave a comment or ask us in the chat, and we'll be happy to answer. That's right. In this animation we made use of flipping again, uh, please look at our previous videos, which we'll have links to, uh, for basically how we made this flip function in the JavaScript. Um, Essentially, it's the same technique as always. We are taking some element, grabbing that first rectangle, doing something that causes a layout change, grabbing the last rectangle, and this is get bounding clients rect from the element. We are then inverting it, which means we are finding um, the distance from where it is to where it was, and we are setting those as CSS properties so we could properly flip it which means uh, we're going to make it so that in one frame, it pretends to be in the first position, but we translate it to the first position. And then on the next frame, we animate everything to zero using CSS transitions. And so we could use CSS variables to do that. Um, now, obviously, uh, this does not account for the actual crazy flipping that's going on in this animation. And that's because we are applying the flip to the wrapper, and the wrapper is just doing a very simple um, that, that flip animation that you've seen us do in previous episodes. And then on top of that, we're doing a 3D animation, and that's using the um, another wrapper. Yeah, so if we, if we take out... Cleaner. Yeah, if we take out this, uh, yeah, it's probably not going to work uh, anymore. <laughs> but uh, yeah, basically all that, all that 3D stuff is is down here. But the overall transition just happens uh, with this data data flipping attribute being applied. Uh, so in in the in the instance of flip, we're doing. Uh, first is just the normal state here, where it's where it's uh, in in the uh, regular layout. Why isn't this updating? <laughs> there we go. Okay. Uh, so this is the normal state, the first state, uh, whenever it's starting out, uh, and then when we do something, we're applying that data data active attribute so that it goes to position fixed and fills the full screen, uh, and so. In that instant, it is actually at that full that full size. If we take off this transition, you'll be able to you'll be able to see that. Um, see, it instantly goes back and forth. Uh, but by adding this transition and then targeting data flipping, that's uh, that's added by this uh, by our function here. Um, we can then transform uh, to do that inversion that, mm -hmm. that David's talking about. Yeah, but the important. Another no, sorry, go ahead. The important <laughs> part is we want transition none during that state so that this transform is applied instantly in that frame. Um, that's, otherwise... that's what creates the illusion. Yeah. Right. Another thing I want to show is that in our flip animation, we do something, and that something is what causes the layout change. But if I comment that out in the JavaScript, you'll see if you click uh, any one of those that we're not flipping anymore. And well, what we are flipping as we're doing the 3D flipping, but that just goes to show you that these are two separate animations or layered animations, so to speak. So we have the 3D flipping going on. And if we apply that do something, now we have both the layouts transition and the 3D flipping going on at the same time. So that creates the illusion of everything happening at the same time. And there you go. Yeah. Uh, we've done a lot of videos on on the flip technique, so check out the uh, links down below. We've even got a, a playlist for it now, I think. Uh, but, but you can also Should. check out the full the full live video where we where we uh, flesh out these these techniques and and break everything down in a in a nice manner. Uh, so go back and. and